Sure. Welcome, Mr. and Mrs. Dixon. Uh, tell me a little bit about the history of Junior University. How did it get started? It's actually started by Mr. Henley, mm -hmm. Robert Henley. We started in his backyard. Uh, the red shoes. We were not connected with that. Oh. Our son was the director for that show, also played the leading role. He was uh, probably, he was in college at the time. <laughs> I couldn't tell you how old he was, I don't remember. Okay. Uh, and Mr. Henley, we had just done a show in Colton for their 75th anniversary, mm -hmm. uh, the city of Colton. And we yeah. did it at Colton High School Auditorium. Um, it was their birthday. The city, the city's birthday. And Mr. Henry was in it, or he was No, mm -mm. he invited us to his backyard after the show was over to see to his see production his of the Red, of Shoes. Red Shoes. And he was overwhelmed at the community support that he received on this production because it was just a modest little backyard production. And he set up, a, a I think, just bleachers and just one set of bleachers. And the people thronged to his backyard mm -hmm. to see this show. That sounds wonderful. Um, and the first production you said was The Red Shoes. Mm -hmm. What was the first production you were involved with? The first production we were involved with was The Ghost of the Chinese Elm. It was a play that we purchased from French or yeah. Whitmark or one of those. I really forget which one now. And uh, it was just a straight play. And I wrote some songs to go with it, a few songs. Not a, it wasn't a huge musical score or anything. We did that show and the second show, well, the same summer, uh, at Hunt's Nursery, which was way out on Sierra. 40th Street. 40th way Street. out on 40th Street. Old Hunt's anymore. Nursery. It wasn't a nursery any longer, but it would have a grove of olive trees, olive trees. there. So we performed outside, of course, there, and it had a rustic building. Uh, that was on the property that we utilized as a stage. And because of the lack of um, creative arts in the schools and how, how a lot of them have just uh, totally gone by the wayside, you are providing such a wonderful service <coughs> to start kids out for the first time in theater, their first experience, the, and it really is done on a professional level, I see. Well, we really try to make it a wonderful learning experience, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of the uh, children go on from here to do things at the San Bernardino Civic Light Opera, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, spotlight or backstage on props or on stage as a singer-dancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very proud, no matter what role they fill, they've had some training here. Mm -hmm. But if they go away from us and they've only had one summer here and they look back on it as having been a wonderful time, that's the best you can mm -hmm. give them, right? Mm -hmm. Even if they do nothing else? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's not our idea to make stars mm -hmm. out of anyone. It's to just give them a happy experience. Right. Mm -hmm. And then to provide a happy night for all of those who want to come to see. Mm -hmm. exactly. I was going to ask, okay, where do you see Junior University in, at, at its 50th anniversary? Perhaps without you, where do you see it going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt about that. Unless you live to be uh, quite a... Yeah. You see us walking in and say, well, here they come. And they're like, yeah, little kids again, huh? <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, well, we... Please strike that. Um, we could... Uh, we foresee, with the group that we have right now, this is what I say, they have a wonderful core of people. Mm -hmm. We have a group right now that are kind of at the helm of Junior University. We're there, too, but we're... We're holding on to shirt tails, <laughs> the, you know, these people that are really running the whole show. Are uh, really interested in seeing the organization grow and get more professional and do better every year. And those are the very things that we've always wanted for the organization too. And the idea that has been proposed is that they have 10 or 12 of the Billy Dixon shows in the can, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And like Disney, bring one out every so many years. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it never gets old, you just it wait It never a while. gets, you just wait a while and then boom, you bring back mm -hmm. that other show, you know. And uh, so for 10 or 12 years, uh, you could be doing a different show. Say in a 12 year run, you do 12 shows. Sure. And then you can start it all over again or maybe take one superb one that just was a blockbuster, you know, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. and do it again real quickly or so on. Mm -hmm. yeah.